We've been getting into our different islands all week in celebration of Caribbean week. And today we travel to French St. Martin. Giving us a tour of this destination this morning is Valerie Damaso. We're also going to try some of the cuisine cooked up by Chef Renee Blackman. So good to have both of you here. Uh, I was there about 10 years ago on both the French and Dutch side. Great stuff all around, great experience. But um, let's talk about some of the things you can do on the French side. First of all, thank you for having me here. It's a great pleasure. Oh, great to have you. Well, when you come to France and Martin, as you know, it is um, situated in North Caribbean um, island. We have actually one of the best cuisine, but we'll get to that just mm -hmm. now. When you come to St. Martin, you get a chance to visit our beautiful island, La Farm, which uh. is one of the getaway you can go. You can have the natural pool. You can have the zip line. We have, if you want to make Johnny Cakes, I don't know if you know about yes. that. Yes. So we have different cultural associations with whom you can make those Johnny Cakes. Mm. We also give you an experience. You wake up to a great bush tea in the morning at any one of the Lolos and get a cultural mm. breakfast. That is very, very good. Nice. And then you can have an, any one of the gastronomy capitals that we have here in St. Martin, whether it's in Grand Cars or Oyen Bay, and you can taste our fine cuisine. And most importantly are the people of St. Martin that makes our so tourism friendly. product. Oh. So, so friendly. friendly. Oh, <laughs> yes. Of course, of course. It, it's not real hard to get there either. Is no, it? not at all. We are like four hours away from New York, three hours and a half from Atlanta, yeah. and also um, 30 minutes from Puerto Rico. Yeah. There are nine different um, airlines that come to the destination, and they're all direct flights. And, and the we, beaches are amazing. Of course. Yeah, once you land. Crystal clear. <laughs> oh, my, like well, and, right there. And the landing, there's, that's the airport where you can kind of stand there, and, and the planes come super low right <laughs> over your head exactly. onto the airport. You do have our international airport on the southern side yeah. that people just go crazy for despite the warning signs oh, no, 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 people no, no, just no. go for the adrenaline and the rush so that's another experience that people come to St. Martin for but something you keep in mind is that there is no tourism product without its people and its culture and we put that at the heart of what we're doing in St. Mm -hmm. Martin so there is no place like St. Martin yeah. and like I said on the French side we have uh, on St. Martin on a whole we have more than 120 nationalities mm -hmm. we speak French English and with wow. our certain side we speak Dutch mm. but what's wow. very good is that you must not be afraid. Whichever language you speak, wherever you're coming from, That's right. jump right in and speak English. We all can do that as well. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I can smell this. Can we talk about the delicious yes. cuisine that you have laid out for us this morning? Mm -hmm. okay. Chef. You get in right. the middle, darling. You want me in the middle? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, Come on, all, of yeah. this. all right, so we're obviously going to start with the savory and then move into the sweet finale. Mm -hmm. So here we have a nice pan-seared duck. There's a miso honey glazed carrot mm -hmm. with a nice mustard seed. There's also some smoked creme fraiche mm -hmm. and a nice piece of crispy potato pave. So collectively, you know, pave is something that was developed by Thomas Keller, but of course, using all those beautiful French techniques, yeah. mm -hmm. lots of flavor. Then we're moving into the sweet finale over here. We have a <laughs> coconut blondie. So I fell in love with a blondie many, many moons ago, but there's a coconut mousse on top, some caramelized, pineapple caramelized uh, mango as well, mm -hmm. and there's a nice I'm rhubarb twill. I was gonna say, he's just jumping into it. The thing is, I'm a very big sweets person, so mm. uh, if he's gonna do that, I have to try the sweets. Oh my okay. goodness. Right. You're like typical of St. Martin now. When we look at the menu, we look at what is dessert. See, that's first. how I've <laughs> always done it. I always look at dessert first, so I have plenty of room for it. Yeah. So. Let me tell you something, dude, because when I was there, you can talk a little tiny market. Yes, exactly. There's, that's the local market. Right? The local market. Okay, I'll get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we can take this home. Take it home. And they have the guava berry, which is native to the island, right? And you have it right here. So you can get this is actually everyone looks for it in um, Christmas time for the holidays yeah but right now you can get it all through the year on St. Martin Explain that's a that local is. product so there's little mini seeds yeah and then you have people that does cakes or tarts or anything with it but it's based in rum and um, we have our guava berry house in Colombia itself yeah. where they marinate it does all the necessary uh -huh. setting have the rum set so that you can have a great let me tell you, Smack I didn't that. know what I was experiencing with the with the guava berry. She mm -hmm. gave it to me a little shot glass, yes. and it's the first time I ever experienced chest hair. <laughs> I, chest hair just came right out. I just grew chest hair immediately. No, but this is actually one of yeah. um, our signature um, drink on the island. And mm -hmm. like I said, you have if you go to the guava berry house, which is one of our um, historical sites, you can go and visit. You get a chance to see how they sit there in some barrels. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you know. It just gets finer with time, with the age and so yeah. forth. So that thing will never go away. Gotcha. You know, I'm going to have to be careful about drinking that because I really don't want to walk away with chest hair. <laughs> <laughs> it's good. No, it's smooth. It's very, yes. very yeah. good. And in, in complimentary to what Chef Renee did, I'm very grateful to be sharing this platform with her because she came down 
twice to our culinary awesome. festival. Oh, how wonderful. We have our gastronomy festival that is in November from the 11th to right. the 22nd. Yeah. And she came down um, because what we do is have various chefs from around the globe, yeah. the world, that comes and experience our culinary, That's but awesome. also we do an exchange. So good, very good. You can't miss out. Well, we thanks are. for coming on <laughs> to share all of this wonderful cuisine and all the best of St. Martin. Yeah, Thank you very much, you. and I hope to see you down pretty soon. I hope, I to, hope to be, be down there pretty soon, yeah. too. I hope yeah. to be back.